It is a pleasure, as it always is this time of the week, especially when it's college basketball season and the final four ahead of us to be joined by Osmos. Ben Rasa, take a look with just a few games remaining, the semifinals, and then, of course, we will have a champion cutting down the nets eventually here. But, Ben, how are you, man? I'm good, yeah. It's uh, finally here. We've been waiting to see. And, I mean, this is one of, if not the best weekends of college basketball. This is pretty much your shining moment right now here with us, and uh, I- I'm I'm here for it. We're going to look at some of the spreads, totals, futures odds, see what is too high or too low, or dare I say we go all Goldilocks and what is just right for the NCAA tournament semifinals. So you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Let's go Baylor and uh, Houston, a one seed versus a two seed. Now, Baylor, uh, of course, just had been crushing everybody by double figures until it was just a uh, a narrow nine-point victory over Arkansas last time out. The spread here has Baylor favored by just five points. Is that too high or too low for you? I'm going to say too low. Uh, You know, Baylor's a team, you know, when we step back, at the beginning of the year, it was a foregone conclusion. It was going to be Baylor and Gonzaga. Gonzaga kind of did their part. Baylor had some COVID issues, and everyone forgot, I think, how good they are. They're in a group. They're the best three-point shooting team in the entire country. And it's going to be interesting. This is strength versus strength. Houston relies. We saw what they did to your boys in Syracuse. They can really stop teams from shooting those threes. But I don't think they're going to be able to do that against Baylor. Uh, Just too strong in the athleticism, particularly in the backcourt. Baylor has so many guys, whether it's Mitchell, whether it's Butler. I have a feeling that they will speed Houston up, make them play a little more at their tempo. That's going to be trouble. I'll say that Baylor does win pretty comfortably here. 